All right, it's time to fine tune some loads in our six millimeter arc. So in the last video, we shot some pretty good groups at 27.2 and 27.5 grains. So we're gonna go ahead and explore the in-between there. So today we're gonna load up five round groups at 27.2 grains, 27.4 grains, and 27.6 grains. Now we're gonna use that same cartridge overall length at 2.270. Same components as well. So let's get down on the range and let's see how they shoot. All right, so we're out here on the range. Target is at 100 yards. This is my Savage 110 switchback. We'll see the other descriptions of the gun on the screen there. And we're trying to fine tune that load with Bargett and the 108 ELD. So we're doing five shot groups today and trying a couple different charge weights. So we've already talked about the low data, of course. So let's just go ahead and see how they shoot. Now the gun is warmed up. I did just shoot three shots through it. So uh, hopefully we don't have any issues with that cold bore shot because there's no cold bore shot. All right, so let's go ahead and let's see how they shoot. This is 27.2 grains. So, pretty good looking five shot group there. Now that first piece of brass was, if anybody remembers back in the day, when I had that one piece of brass I thought was cracked at the head, the case head. And uh, so I did shoot it again today just to see what would happen. Um, I'll show you a closer picture of that whenever you guys, uh, we take a look at our brass. So that looks like a really good start um, as far as group size goes. A little bit of horizontal shringing it looks like, but um, 2661 feet per second with a 7.3 SD. So really a nice looking group there. Let's go ahead and move on up to the next load at 27.4 grains. All right, so pretty good looking group there too. Let's see what our velocity looked like. All right, so that one, our velocity jumped a little bit. We had 26.79 with an 18.4 SD. Now we did miss our first shot, the lab radar did, for whatever reason. So that's a four shot average. Okay, so the barrel is warming up a bit but it's not too hot. Let's take a look at our those last pieces of brass. Those last pieces of brass look fine. So we're gonna go ahead and move up to our top load. Not really gonna let the barrel cool or anything like that. I've talked about before, we're gonna shoot a few of these in a competition, so wanna make sure it's tolerant to barrel heat a little bit. All right, so last group of the day here. Hopefully we catch all of them with our lab radar. 
usually don't miss many shots with it. Especially not once it's already set up. So kind of weird there. All righty. Woo. Good looking group there. Let's see where velocity was. It looked really consistent. All right, so those five averaged 2696 feet per second with an SD of 2.9, extreme spread of eight. So let's hopefully, I didn't look at any of those pieces of brass. Hopefully we're not tearing up any brass. And if we're not, that's probably gonna be the load. And it looks like for the most part the brass looks okay. So let's get over there and let's check out the target. All right, so taking a look at our brass here, on the very left there, those three are at 27.5 grains. Don't really see much going on with those and then moving across. Now, on our very top load at 27.6 grains, if you look at that very top piece of brass, there is a little bit of an injector smear. But other than that, I can't really find anything on the other pieces. So I think we're getting near the top end. We're above Hornady's predicted max velocity. And you can see a couple little swipes on the brass. Now the primers don't look too bad. So I think we can get away with shooting this load. Alrighty, so we're back at the bench here, taking a look at our target. Pretty good looking groups overall. First load at 27.2 grains, shot 2661 feet per second, 7.3 SD, and a 0 0.79 inch group. Moving across there at 27.4 grains, we shot 26. 79 feet per second, 18.4 SD, and a good looking 0 0.66 inch group. And our last group of the day at 27.6 grains, shot 26.96 feet per second, 2.9 SD, and best group I've shot on the channel at 0 0.23 inches. Um, you also see on the right there are three shots that were pulled, which you guys probably saw earlier this week at 27.5 grains. They also shot really good at 0 0.41 inches. So this makes, uh, the load choice pretty easy here. There's really no need to fine tune that 27.6 anymore. I can't shoot any better than that. And a 2.9 SD is about as good as it's going to get. The only concern I would have here is that we're towards the top end. Other than that, I think we can get away with it considering we'll probably shoot that competition in about the same weather temperatures that we had today in Varga Disperi Temperature Stable Powder. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of little mini series with the 108 ELD and Varga. We'll see you next time.